I want to stick my dick in Meteor Root. I'm sorry, that's... Wait. Well, now I have to leave that in because that would be the funny thing to do, despite it being awful. I mean... There's nothing awful about that con- Well, okay, me being involved maybe makes it awful. But the simple concept of- She is extremely attractive. Anyway, hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everyone. My name is Shannon L. Shook. You heard right, folks. He is risen once again. His voice hath not, but he hath done this thing. It probably sounds really bad. I tested the mic a second ago and I wasn't paying attention because my brain is also a little bit like Silly Putty. And by that I mean it's a quite silly one because I'm such a funny, happy, silly boy. Do you see what I did there a little bit ago? I was talking about fucking me. Anyway, um, so, uh, hey guys, yeah, no, uh, I would very quickly, before we even get started, I'd like to apologize profusely to you guys. Um, for not having any videos last week. Oh, that's not true. I guess Ruby came out last week. Came out today as I am recording this. Um, Ruby, uh, the, the, the finale of Ruby did end up coming out, but that was just because it was the finale, and I'd rather shoot someone in the face than not watch the finale of my favorite show. So we did that, um, earlier in the week, but I wasn't able to get through anything else. Uh, I had to push that one back quite a few days. Yeah, it is the thing. I got super, super duper fucking sick. Um, the point where I had to take off the first day of work. Um, so far in my, my time of doing the works. So, yeah. I wasn't going to be able to sit through this either. Uh, so, I hope you guys understand. And I hope you guys are okay with whatever the fuck is happening to my voice right now. So, hopefully it's deeper, more beautiful, and sexy. It's not even a little bit that thing that I just said. Anyway... Um, f my brain, again, my brain's putty. Um, what happened in the last episode? Well, I'm glad you asked. Fry sauce packet. Um, why is that just sitting there? Why is that a thing? I know why. Because this room is a fucking nightmare. I need to... Dear God. Um, anyway, point is, um, the scales fell from eyes in the previous episode. And, uh, more importantly than any of that... Um, your boy made himself a promise that he wasn't going to put Mitru in the thumbnail because, of course, there would be no reason to. Why would he do that? She was barely in the episode. It's an episode about... So why would I put Mitru in... And then I put Mitru in the thumbnail because I will put her in every... Th I'll put her in every thumbnail of every series on the goddamn channel if I have to. Um... It does occur to me, we she is in like half of all of the thumbnails. There's like 30, 30 videos in this playlist total, including the two compilations, which are both about me true, so there's those added in. And I think 15 of them, as of this point, have me true in them. So literally half of the fucking videos related to Grisaia that I've made have fucking me true in the thumbnail because she deserves it, goddammit. Anyway, what else happened? Um, Stachy had a cute boot. She, she fell upon the floor with said cute boot, and um, then she became a fucking freak because Yuji can't be trusted, and he can't be allowed to say words around her, lest the scales fall from her eyes. Um, anyway, we're moving on. She also moved next to us in the seat. Um, I'm sure I'm just sitting in Yuji's lap. That's what's happening here. I'm just like, hey, what's up, my boy? Careful, you don't peek too close down my shirt. Speaking of shirts, it should go. Best person ever. Um. Anyway, I'm sorry, Mitru. She's she's still definitely at least like number two. She is. She's way the fuck up there. Um. It's not true. Not me. I think is still. We need to move on. Um. I was gonna have a whole ten minute rant. Um. About something at the start of this episode as well. Um. I would just like to say. Um. Thank you to the people in the Discord, especially to my man Jeff, uh, the one who recommended this game to me, recommended Sukasuka Suka, Suka to me, uh, and just has been a huge help out to the channel because that motherfucker talked me off of a very high ledge because I was in a way earlier because I woke up to some shit and I was not having it. Um, but yeah, no, he, uh, he, he was really helpful about it, so I... 
This is a daily reminder that y'all are way better people than I am, and you mean the world to me, and um, don't ever, ever think that your small little contributions, whether just saying a nice thing, liking a video, fucking going like, what's up, my man? Don't ever think that those little things don't matter, because they fucking do, and they're the things that apparently keep me from going on a fucking tirade um, in Grisaya videos a week later from the thing that actually happened. So, it's a thing. Um, we're gonna move on and actually play this. Uh, hopefully I can get through this fairly well, and I do not cough at all. Not even once. Not even little. I was gonna use a cough drop during this episode, and then I realized it makes a clicky clacky noise in my mouth, in my teeth. And I'm sound like, my fucking face sounds like a goddamn castanet. But we don't need that up in here. This is a seven minute intro. It's a double hit intro. Of course it is. Um, it is pretty well known that rabbits can die if they get lonely enough. That is fucking depressing, Yuji. Why did you say this to my face? I don't like you now that you've done this to me. Also, I think the Japanese word for rabbit is kind of adorable. Usagi, that's cute. Your move, atheists. I mean... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> We're not gonna cough. We're not gonna cough. <clears throat> we coughed. Fuck! Um, you might assume that that means you should be petting your bunnies at all times. But in fact, uh, excessive contact with stress uh, can stress their nerves badly enough to inspire escape attempts. Moderation is the rule in our interactions with other creatures. It's true. Uh, but human beings have a hard time finding that balance even when we try. All too often, we comes clumsily misjudge the appropriate distance or stumble in our attempts to maintain it. It's true. <laughs> of course it is. Why would it? You are also dr driving a fucking railroad spike through my ear. It's good to see you again, baby girl. But also, calm the calamity that is what you can barely be considered memories. Um... Still one of my fucking favorite lines of all time. Um, yeah, sounds bad. A crisis, to be true. A crisis? Uh, profit? Second game was fun. I, I, I like the they had a ball in the third one. Um, a recess period. Machina pops up noisily before, before my eyes, then proceeds to grab at my clothes and shake me back and forth like some sort of madman. Um, I ward her off with one hand. Fuck off. Um, playing little attention to the playing bitch. Um, paying attention to the specific content of our squawking little tit. I am fucked up, right? <laughs> Can you tell? Um, so I do apologize if videos this week are wonky or were wonky. I guess is the end of the week, but I'm not. I don't want to miss another week, man. Um, uh, it's because I, I feel like brushing your hair. It's very lovely. Um, well, I assume you're just babbling. I assume. I can't say I'm sensing a whole lot of danger right now. Uh, holy shit, damn. Um, scared the fuck out of me. Um, all of Earth? It's aliens. Mitru, what have you done this time? You contacting your evil overlords? Why would you do this? I can't do anything about my face. Leaving that aside, I suppose it wouldn't do to ignore a global crisis. You've lied to me immediately. How dare you, Makina? Do this to your boy. Um, that is a pretty dramatic drop in scale, you little punk. I have no idea what the fuck you were trying to say on that second line, but I'm just gonna go with... Sure, um, the hell are you even talking about again? Um... What's up, baby girl? How you doing? It's been a solid second. That's a fair enough radius. Oh! Makina is one thing, but if the attention backing her up, I... If I, What the fuck? The attention... I broke my brain. Um, if Amine is backing her up, I guess this does warrant my attention. Hey, I'll tell you who warrants my attention. You. In my life. Now, what have I done? Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna need you to just go chew on some bubblegum for a second, because I need to express my feelings, emotions, and love towards this 
banana nut muffin who is just chilling right here. I love you, but back the fuck up. Um, you're great. Um, I have a feeling this is going to get out of hand if everyone jumps into the conversation. But just as I'm about to shoo away the two late arrivals. Alright then. Um, for some reason, Amine jabs her out her finger in my direction and powerfully declares some shit. I don't fucking know. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could explain what it is a little more comprehen comprehensibly than that. It is a movie uh, from some time back. Uh, they did make a, a prequel, a, a, a sequel, um, uh, not too terribly long ago, but uh, it was a John Carpenter's The Thing, which is not it. <laughs> I, f I fucked that up real hard. I forgot that those are not the same movie. <laughs> <laughs> they did remake it, though, very recently. Um, what the fuck happened to my brain? I got, I honestly thought we were talking about the thing for a second. We weren't talking about that or it, but okay. Um, the thing's great. It's a good move. I'm not a gore guy, but I find the thing to be a very interesting and terrifying enemy creature, demon, monster, alien. It's, it's also great. Tim Curry was lovely. Um, did you hear his laugh? It was great. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Moving on. I have no idea what this woman is talking about, but admittedly, Yuji probably doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about, because I goddamn don't. My voice is fucked, by the way. Um, does leading a normal student life require the ability to find enjoyment in this sort of vague, meaningless riddle? In that case, I've still got a ways to go. He's fucking voice crack central up in this bitch. Oh, we talking about worse girl. I'm so sorry. I'm so mean to her all the time. She's lovely. Probably. Um, we're finally on the same page. I use the word everyone. I don't, only uh, <laughs> when only five of us are here. I'm going to suggesting my unconscious exclusion of Sak Sakuyumiko uh, from the group suggests a problem in our social dynamic. Dynamic. It's true, we don't need to abandon her. I want to, but we shouldn't. I mean... Is it porn? Because that's the kind of book I could get behind by shutting everyone out. Um, She's probably keeping her distance out of her own free will, so presumably this is how she wants it to be. I don't think it's necessarily something we need to worry about. It's true. It's possibility. Or you're all a bunch of wrong people, and she's just like, I don't know what being around people means. I, Yumiko is the alien. We were all fucking... I don't know why I could had to drink before I finished my sentence. We were over here worried that it was Mitru this whole time. Wrong. It was secretly Yumiko. She has a hidden Charlie up there somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Um, hmm. I hadn't thought of it that way. She might be onto something. Sakagi's a human being, after all. Much as her box cutter brandishing mischief may stand out, letting those moments of hostility prejudice all of our interactions with her means you'd be named Shannon. Is, is that, that is exact, that is what would happen. Directly off of a cliff, she will give all of the way in to the floor. Um, How did you reach that conclusion? Do you have any evidence whatsoever? Ah, uh, sure. You do that. I'm sure that can only... Okay. You can stop talking now. <laughs> That's true. She just burrow her way directly into your very soul, but not in the cute, awesome way like you would. In the stabby way. And that shit that needs to be saved for, like, things like the thing and it. But you can't do it that way, if I remember correct. How did you, how did you beat him? 
How'd they beat him in the... I stopped paying attention. Anyway, um... I also keep staring directly into my goddamn lamp and it's burning a hole in my eyes. Um... Oh, yeah, no, she's... You're first to die. Um... Okay, I'll be right behind you, though. She's hearing me talk shit about it the whole time. A contest. A beauty pageant. No use even uh, committing girls. I'm already here and I have already won. There is no judge. Except for me, who is also the jury and executioner. Which means you gotta die if you fucking contest me. Um... Ooh. Actually, I should probably actually t tug on my actual sleeve rather than whatever the fuck I was just doing here. Um, tug on the titty? Five points. Is it my... <laughs> what? Uh, is it my imagination or is this sounding increasingly fishy? I write fish. Um... Yankered off her goddamn head, 10 points. Um, that is, I was joking, you savage animal freaks of nature. What is wrong, what is wrong with you people? Baki just runs and buzz cuts her fucking head off. <laughs> Not her head off, but like, in a, off of her head. I knew the game was supposed to get a little dark. I just didn't realize we was cut off, cut off Yumiko's fucking head. Um, it is excessive. That's not a good... I know I give her a lot of shit, but we don't need to turn her into fucking Bruce Willis. Just let her hair be as it is. It's one of her... It's. It's her actually best feature. There's literally nothing good about her other than... Sorry. I'm sorry. She's lovely. It's just... I, it's a joke. I have been... It's long running. I do it to fuck with people. Specifically Yumiko. Because... Who gives a shit? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, she's gonna make me cry. When I... I like, I'm gonna get to her root. And then she's gonna become my favorite. And I'm gonna be like, I'm so sorry, I couldn't have done this to you. And that's when she's gonna box cutter me in the neck. He's like, you did this. It's your fault. Um, what? My voice of restraint falls on deaf ears. Um, the rest of the group is getting more fired up by the second. I wasn't aware that the student council from Yamaku moved in. Sup, she's like, how you doing? Um, no, wait. She's mute. Wait. No, she's mute. No, she's deaf. Yeah. Is it bad that I don't remember? She's... I literally just watched a video on Kato Shoujo the other day. Hours ago. 30 minutes ago. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure that says some terrible things about both me and her. Um, I stopped paying attention. What the fuck are you talking about now? Um, be careful about coming from behind. It's... You got a forewarning. No one wants to just hit in their back and them not knowing what the fuck's going on. Um, a book reading Sakaki? What does that even mean? Please explain in detail. Someone use real words. Was it a surreal gag? Did Amine trip over her tongue in her increasingly frantic excitement? At this rate, I'll likely never know the truth. How far? 20 minutes. Probably read like three lines. Um, the book, the book, fuck. The bizarre conversation rolls on. Uh, momentum building by the second. You'd think everyone involved was hitting the peak of a chemical-induced high. Um, it might just be my imagination, but sometimes I think I may have found my way into a fairly deranged excuse for a learning environment. What the fuck would have given you that idea? She's gonna knife all you in the goddamn neck. Sure. You can't be trusted to do anything. Not because you won't get it done, but because you will. And that's the problem. You, however, I root for 110%. Because look at that face. This is the most pinchable of a cheek right there. Um, Do you people actually like hate Sakaki or what? 
No comment. Um, the enthusiastic group of conspirators doesn't dignify my perfectly reasonable question with a response. Well, this is never... <laughs> <coughs> It is never a good sign when the carnival music starts playing. Tragically, for Sakaki, uh, the next recess period arrives all too quickly. Oh, I'm telling. I'm telling, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. Fine. Don't you help? Help the girl, Yuge. What are you doing? Why am I pretending you're over there? I don't know. I needed to pick a direction. You're not over there. There's a fucking wall. Um. <sighs> Fine, fine. Let's get this over with. So he really is judge, jury, and executioner. Cool. Um, to be honest, I seriously doubt this is going to get us any closer with Sakaki, but giving the same, but giving the game away would probably make things just as awkward in its own way. So I've adopted the typically Japanese policy of watching passively over the situation from a safe distance. I can respect that. I can respect that. Shout out to you, Japan. Like, it doesn't always go well. Trust me. I remember history. That shit did not go stellar for y'all the first time. I get your reluctance to dive into shit. I'd be like, we maybe shouldn't have done some stuff because some shit happened. I don't, I don't know what happened, but it wasn't good. Um, so we're just gonna chill over here, and I'll be like, I'm right there with you, because you guys have a Michiru. Um, you guys got like two or three of them. I know because the series on my channel. Um. Sakimi, uh, Sakaki Yumiko nailed it. Um, the unexplored territory, the final frontier. Seated at her desk, face buried in a thick book, her but Oh, should I? No, I'm not gonna. I was gonna be like, can I do William Shatner? And then I was like, no, nah, we can't. I mean, I don't know how many people are be doing William Shatner these days. He's an older gentleman. Um, her body language projects a desire to be left alone. Um, so, baby girl, how you doing? Cool. You're off to a good start. The Suo Amane expedition fires off the first daring step into the wilderness. And now we see Suo Amane approaching her prey. Let us see what happens next. Is that supposed to be my man's an No, it's not, because that was not good. These are fireflies. I'm, I've seen that ad like 700 times. Leave me alone. Um... Her approach appears impressively natural. The woman's something of a skilled actress, apparently. This has to be the most un- like, impossible to follow episode of Grisaya. I apologize profusely. This is not helping. Um, of course, she could probably be putting that talent to better use than this, but... <laughs> we were just talking about how great your ass looks in those jeans. I'm not wearing jeans. So you're not. Um. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny to me. Um, also, I lost my headphones. Oh, definitely. Only the most mal elite delicious. Um, Sakaki coolly throws out a perspect er, perceptive question without bothering to look up from her book, prompt prompting a flustered denial from Amine. You're giving it away, baby girl. Giving it away, giving it away, giving it away now. Oh, she's sneaky. She's getting in there. You are not sneaky at all. Um, but maybe that's the point. Maybe she acts so obvious that it's like, well, that's just me true being me true. Who needs a Sam Fisher when she exists? Um, probably government agents, uh, agencies. Um, I, I see. Could you be more specific is what she said. I... What the fuck are you doing back there? Also... Can you share some of them socks with me, True? Because I would <laughs> gladly accept that being a thing in my life. Um, Makina tries to snatch away the book with a surprise attack, but is forcibly rebuffed by Sakaki, who is clearly in a state of heightened awareness. <laughs> How dare you. Um, Makina clicks her tongue in irrepressible frustration. She's been gambling on taking the big points with that opportunity, but sadly her moment has passed with nothing more than a one-point hand touch. 
It is true. The world may never know. Sneaky, sneaky bitch. See, so, like, I have many nicknames for, for a good few of them now. Uh, like, Amine, the only thing I really got for it, and it's not even really a nickname, is just Amine do 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 do, because it's mana mana do 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 do. It's that. Um, but that's really all I got from her. Makina, I don't really have other than she's a fucking demon. Um, you know, I got nothing for you, Mako. Period. She's just the worst. Um, like, I, I don't really have anything for you, Mako. Um, and then I got a little pet names for Mitru because, again, she's my favorite, so there's this stuff. Sachi, there's so many things you could say about her. She is bubblegum. She is the roast master supreme. She's got the cute boot. She's fucking... A, she's a goddamn super spy, apparently. Like, she's... The layers to this muffin are wild. Um, I will say that. She might not be my favorite, but she's got layers like a goddamn damned onion um really wish i had tissues because my nose is fucking with me right now um just 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 start jerking off your fingers what <laughs> what <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm gonna... You do, you do, you do. She can be trusted. As I said, super secret agent spy. I'm gonna Makina, Makina quietly mutter to each other. Careful careful to keep out of Sakaki's earshot. The palm of Sakaki's hand and her fingers are pretty much a package deal, so I'll award one point for the pair, with the addition of the wrist. Oh my god. Um Sachi's jumped onto an early lead with two points. That's one more than one point. Are you manhandling her as you say this? Because that's not good. Same. Same. You can't double down like that. You double dipping bitch. You cheating assholes. Mmm. <laughs> You are a grade A I W T H. God damn it. Um, I guess that doesn't really work because it's more. That's a scenario all in itself. It's more. Use it to describe an image more than anything else, right? It's. I'm trying to make it a thing. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Join the Discord. Your country needs you. Um. It's true. Thumping. Five points. She just executed a five hit combo. Making excellent use of her folksy Kansai Ag Girl Act. Yeah, huh? Yeehaw, boys and gals. Welcome home to Amine's uh, land. What the fuck am I talking about? Amine sees 25 points in the blink of an eye. You cheating bitch! I said, Yuji, I am part of this. We cannot allow this to happen. I'm not saying I don't love Amine. I'm not saying she doesn't necessarily deserve to win. I'm just saying she is cheating. You you gotta vary it up. We gotta instill some fucking rules in here, Yuji. And I'm disappointed in your fucking behavior. You grounded. Um, what? The old lady reference also seems like a clever play, taking advantage of the difference in their ages. But expressing my admiration on this point would likely lead to no conflict. I, ex I exercise discretion, but keep my trap shut. So you're into old ladies then, huge. I mean, it's a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. That's fine, you take care of that shit, I will handle Michiru. I will handle... very gently, but firmly. All of Michiru, I'm sorry. You ho. I'm sorry, Yumiko. You, like, I give you a ton of shit, but um, you don't deserve any of what's happening right now. You have my permission to start stabbing bitches. Um, just when I thought the balance of power shifted to Amine, I'm not gonna use her established thoughtlessness as a cover to launch a new series of attacks, quickly acquiring a whole whopping 40 points. Keeping up with the scoring is beginning to prove challenging in its own right. I keep trying to interlock my fingers, all dramatic-like, and then I realize I still have to use the mouse. Ah, uh, this is where she jumps in with the 100-point lead by grabbing straight at the titty, like I was saying. 
その、サカキさん。Sakaki anticipates Mitri's approach and brings it to a premature halt with a powerful glare. The pseudo sundry wilts like a potted plant under the, de the desert sun. Oh my, you animal! s e a s o n the moment once again. See, this is what happens. They're all after rack of these points, then Mitri is gonna have to be desperate, and she just fucking crams her tongue down her mouth.、Um, I'm sorry. I'd pay to see it. Um, a season m o m e n t once again, Sachi definitely plucks a button from Sakagi's unit. I have lost a lot of my shame over the past, like, week or two. I am so sorry. Um, then holds it out for inspection on the palm of her hand. How dare. Um, so, so sorry. Um, so sorry. Um, so sorry. Um, so sorry. Um, so sorry. Sakagi is clearly dubious. In comparison, Sachi's beam, beaming from ear to ear like laser beams from your face.、Um, she's got guts to launch a bold attack like that under such risky circumstances.、Uh, risky business, if you will. Indifference to our dauntless soul of a mage, he's mentally,、uh, I mentally award 50 points, bringing Sachi's total to 52. She has regained the lead in the flash. She has Barry Allen the fuck out of this. How do Mike? What the fuck am I doing?、Um, if you'd like, I can sew the button back on immediately, was not my line. My back hurts.、Um, Goddamn.、Um, right, your face. That, that's just not a pleasant face on her. On her. <laughs> I feel bad.、Um, I feel bad for everything I've ever said.、Um, Just have a needle at the ready. She planned this, goddammit.、Um, Sachi launches a follow up attack, pulling on Sakiki's score. Uniform earns her three points, bringing her total to 55. <laughs> He definitely did. I can read her like a book. And not just because. Clever joke, because books. I. Continue. With your monstrous behavior. She's the fucking double. I'll at least allow that one, Yuge. Because she went, went for the pull and then the push. Rather than just the、uh, double yank. You see what I'm saying here? Huge, you don't exist. Who the fuck am I talking to? Um, I'm not gonna add two tugs for a total addition of six points with a score of 46. She's hot on Sachi's heels. Some fucking horrible shit, most sure, assuredly. Sakagi's not completely oblivious. By this point, she's clearly realized that she's become the group's plaything. Her voice has a dangerous edge to it. Not unlike her box cutter.、Um, I think she'd look good with white hair. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying she's got to dive down that route right away. I'm just saying I think she will mature into a lovely lady when the hair starts to fade a little. You know what? That's cool. That's fine. That's great. Some, some people can pull that shit off, some people can't. I think she'll be able to do it. Oh, she definitely、oh, won't. Amani seems to have discovered a genuine split end. Sakaki falters for a moment, obviously, of being thrown off her balance. Devious as Amani may be at times, I don't think this was planned out beforehand. Well, I'm looking like Shannon. I mean, the most. Motherfucker, I'm sorry. The most unpresentable mess of a woman.、I'd... Joke fell apart because I hit the mic.、Um... Coffee, save me.、Um... Sakiki attempted to bury the split in her thick hair, but Amane smoothly intercedes and takes up a position behind her. Compared to the clearly unnatural interactions of earlier, this is a convincingly normal development. From a neutral perspective, it would appear an action of pure goodwill and friendliness on Amane's part. Accordingly, Sakiki proves unable to offer any firm resistance. One, two, three touches of her hair. 
One, two, three touches of a hair. Mm -mm, you swipe right there. Mm -mm, what the fuck am I even doing? I hit the mic again. Of course, unbeknownst to her, Amine is racking up points by the second. My. Scandalous. It's true. Having one Sakaki's trust for the moment, Amine no longer needs to employ any risky, aggressive tactics. As she slowly and steadily racks up the points, Makina and Sachi's faces grow increasingly tense with desperation. <laughs> she blow your cover, baby girl. You do it. She's gonna hack off a fucking hunk of her hair. She's gonna be lopsided as fuck. <coughs> Uh. Oh, sweetie. I just want to give her a hug all the time and forever. I just, I want one. I just want like, hey, what's up? I'm, I'm me and this is me. We're just chilling. We exist. Um, I wish. I wish she exist. Um, oh, no, man. Again, that, you know, aggressive makeout option is available. I'll allow it. Huge, uh, you're probably on board with this as well. I think the judges' table has confirmed we will allow aggressive makeout sashes. Um, me true. It's painful just to watch you exist. I added that last part. Again, because I'm sad because she doesn't. Um, the girl's thoughts are written too plainly on her face, especially when she's up to no good. Starting in the, in the neighborhood. I got one little fight and my mom got scared. I got to, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> got sent to live with her auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Um, okay, I'm um, sorry. He's gonna shoot her down every. <laughs> that was the worst laugh I've ever had. It just it was, it was bubbling up and it was high. It was trying to sneak attack me, and it succeeded. <coughs> I'm so sorry about the coughing, guys. Sakagi's gonna shoot her down every time. Perhaps this will inspire her to take a good long look at herself. <laughs> you are the devil. A very adorable devil. Um, on the other extreme, Amine is already coasting into a leisurely victory lap. Coming through Sakagi's hair... I should have been a little more careful how I said that. Um, she snips out split ends with the scissors she borrowed from Ichiro. As she's racking up another 10 points with every centimeter she harvests, she's already well into triple digits. Although Sakagi's keeping her expression blank, her reaction to Amine's fiddling with her hair appears to be something like relaxed boredom. Putting aside the points of this silly little contest, seem like they really might be getting friendlier. What? That's not how this works. You fucking freak of nature. <laughs> I love you, but what? <laughs> it's true. The the face of pure terror. Um, This is gonna be a good thumb. If there's no CG, this is a good thumbnail choice. Look at just Amine being a fucking freak in the middle. I love it. I did not read what that thing just said. Um, Magina and Sachi try their best to claw back into the fight, but Saki is on high alert. Their hands are tied. I s fucking bitch basket. At this point, that's no exaggeration to say the match is all but decided. Again, Mitru. I'm holding that hope. Um, all right. Very soon, the chime heralding the end of research period will sound. At that moment, this battle will be concluded as well. Sitting comfortably on the commanding lead, Ramane refrains from touching Saki's hair longer than necessary, bringing the grooming sesh to a natural end. Oh, sweetie. Long since out of the running, Mitru seems destined to end this match with an inept zero points. I believe in you, baby girl. As Amina hands over the scissors, they slip through the dejected Mitru's hands and clatter against the floor. As a side note, don't get the idea that Mitru actually careless. What? As a side note, don't get the idea that Mitru's only careless when depressed. This sort of thing happens all the time. Fair enough. She's gonna bump her right in the vagina. Um. Dropping down to the desk, Mitru crawls forward a bit in the direction of the group. Picking up the scissors, she immediately begins to be very careful. Very careful now. 
As Mitru's, she just knock her the fuck out. As Mitru's head lunges towards her at the world's clumsiest uppercut, Sakagi instinctively reaches out with her hands to defend herself. Of course, in those hands, she's still holding the book she used, been protecting all this time. Oh. Destroyed. Um, my girl gonna come in with the fucking victory. Like a goddamn hero. Um, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking animal. Oh, that's so mean. I'm sorry, Yumiko. In the next instant, Sakagi's frozen in place. The book knocked violently out of her hands now rests on top of her head. Apparently unable to process the situation, Sakagi stands perfectly still. Um. Uh, Sakagi's face is blank with dazed confusion. The hardcover book lies open across the crown under her for for. What? Um, of her head like some bizarre helmet. It's a truly surreal moment. I find myself staring blankly, utterly lost for words. Makina has already burst into an explosion of tactless laughter, and I'm an age trying and failing to uh, contain her own amusement. Sachi, on the other hand, gazes with some bitterness at this truly astonishing bottom of the ninth. <laughs> and at that moment, the bell echoes through the classroom, ending the contest. It's one more thumbnail with my girl. Um... <laughs> Goddamn right. At the next research period, uh, you want me to handle this huge? I got this. You can take the rest of them. Again, I have my victor in my heart. Let me have this, damn it. Um, for the next research period, fuck you too, whatever that was. Um, we've gathered in the hallway uh, in an attempt to avoid Sakaki's notice. Hi, do you like the usual? You. I am so sorry. I think you're all well aware already. With the final score of 10,000 points earned by planting Sakagi's book on top of her head, Michiru is our champion. I agree with him. It's a good boy. It's fun to only ever clap this many times. Sex. What? Um. <laughs> Hear that one again, because that was really cute for whatever reason. That's just such a real cute way to say words that you've done there. I like this. You be, you leave her alone. She is perfection. Fuck you, people. <laughs> She got a point. Even if, it doesn't matter how she got there. It's it's that she got there. Mitra may have been completely nonplussed by her victory at first, but upon grasping the situation, she instantly puffed her up herself to look like a peacock. I think it's fairly clear the girl. Why did I say that like that? Um, clear the girl has a lot of back to presentment. <laughs> She's the Jiru Jiru. I love all of the time forever. Unless I have to watch her cry, in which case I'm going to fucking die. Um, it has occurred to me, we've talked about this a bit. Because again, I do know that the game gets more emotional. And potentially darker as time goes on. For people who have not watched my reaction videos, y'all are in for a fucking treat when we get to that point. Because it's just going to be me bawling my eyes out and clicking like this. Not reading anything. Because that is the person I am when things get emotional. And I'm not going to be able to handle it. I'm so terrified beyond all everything on Earth. Um, yeah. Um... Omni offers the group vague, soothing words in full Kansai dialect. Dimitri. Sorry, of course. The mastermind, Michiru. Michiru's voice rings with bold confidence, judging from her stilted phrasing, it's most likely a complete and utter lie. But the words nonetheless sound items vomited in my face. Um. Sound fairly convincing as they echo hollow through the hollow way. 
Hun veils of Halali. Um, at the moment, everyone also freezes in pure shock. With a quick survey of my surroundings, I soon learn why. Mitru, I'm. I hope you brought knife proof armor. Um, I don't miss Amine mouthing the word idiot with a slightly smug look on her face either. Her reaction to defeat is a uh, plot, is to plot revenge, it would seem, quite a woman. Uh, uh, no, I think not, sorry. I would, like, I will jump in front to sa of her to save her. I'm just saying. Can I please get one of the knife through vests again, please? Yeah, yeah. Yuma, Yumiko, please, let, let her go. I love her. We, she can't be dead. I need her to not be dead. I still get... We're not to her root yet. Don't kill her regardless. I'm just saying, at least give me this. Um, with a familiar ominous sound, the shadowy figure that snuck up behind Mitru mutters a few ice-cold words. The smile on Mitri's face instantly hardens into a rigid grimace. Copious amounts of sweat begin to run down her forehead and along her cheeks. <laughs> I mean, I did, but... Again, there's a disconnect because... Fiction, reality, or wait, is it the other way around? Is that reality and this is fiction? The Matrix, I've blown your mind, Mr. Anderson. Um... At least aware of her plight, I mean, that has nothing to do with what The Matrix was about. Um... Mitri squeezes out... <laughs> A few whimpering words of I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just know, noticed a moment ago myself. Why are you so mean to her? Um, such an asshole. I love you, but god damn it, woman. Ow, thumb. Um, careful. Careful now. Okay. I'm already getting new ammunition for the next one of those. I'll do it. I'll make it tonight. Um, this will be three seconds of you going, saying that one thing that you said that one time, and then going to hey. Um, uh, I, I was assuming you were going to say another sentence. I had you... Oh, you know, you all are fucked. I mean, I had nothing to do with this. I was... Yuji wouldn't even let me vote. I didn't get the result I want. I wanted her to go and do some sexy time stuff because I'm a terrible human being. I had nothing to... You... I've never said a bad word about you, Yumiko. I'm, I'm such a sweet boy. Um... You are such an optimist, Amine. Run like hell. Well, probably the same thing as the rest of us. I can't scream that as much as I want to. My voice is... Retreat, double time. Um... Autobots roll out. Um... Whose line is it anyway? You might go. This day would go down as the first time in the Academy's history that all of its students were simultaneously absent from class, but it said that no one involved dared speak the reason why. Lest the world crumble under the weight of Yumiko's glare. Um, can I? Okay, now I have to actually check these nowadays because I can't be trusted to know if it's a new goddamn scene yet. It absolutely silver bullets target. It's a werewolf. Mishru's a werewolf. I knew it. I'll allow it, because she's a were... Cute. What the f fuck was I going to say? Hey, hi. I haven't moved on to the next video yet. I, have, I, haven't, en I haven't ended it yet. I should probably not... Did I mention my brain is pudding? Um... I almost did it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I apologize that it was a fucking train wreck. I apologize 
that all of the videos this week are definitely going to be a fucking train wreck if this is how we're fucking starting off. Uh, I will catch you guys next tomorrow. Nailed it. Um, where we will figure out who is the real werewolf. Uh, the Lycan. Uh, and I will tell you why it is me true. Because I... I think that'd be badass. She'd be like, I'm a cute muffin soon to Ray. And then in the nighttime, she's like, werewolf, son. Ah. And then I'm like, oh my god. And then she's like, insert weird Mitru noise here. I don't, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, toodles, doodles, and lemons. That's how I end my videos. Um, goodbye, guys. Um, what the fucking hell is wrong with my brain at the moment? Um. Well, what isn't really? I mean, come on.